All right, it's time for another TV Musings chatting with the new series, American Grit. Hey everyone, it is Shannon, and I'm excited to be chatting about another new TV series. I really, I really enjoy watching first episodes and sharing my thoughts, so I think I'm gonna keep this up. And this week what I decided to chat about was is American Grit. It is a reality competition series. It's hosted by John Cena, and it has, how the format is there's four mentors, and they pick they have a teams of four and it has a military theme all of the mentors i believe are ex-military and all of the contestants do have a military connection either they were in the military or someone in their family was but usually i think everyone has a military i remember them saying that during the during the show but I don't, there's some people that I can't remember what their connection is. So I think, I think that that's the case. Anyway, how this is, and it's funny because this one, I had to also look up to see what the prize was because it's really a bunch of really tough people doing a bunch of really tough challenges. And I barely, I don't even remember them saying what the prize was, but there are there is a prize money of um, up to a million dollars for the winning team. I don't know if it'll get down to individual or if it's team. I don't know. It's new. It's one of the things I love about new series is that you don't know exactly how they work. Like Survivor's in it's like 30 a season. People know how how the show works, right? <laughs> so it's awesome to try out new ones and see how it's gonna play out. So this one, the the competition, how it works is you have four military or four mentors and they have each have a team of four. There is a group competition where the team works together with their mentor there. That's different. Um, and who, the three, the team that wins, they got a benefit. They got a like a dinner. And then the teams that didn't win, they each had to send one person to the circus and um, to do an individual competition. And I was really surprised. This was actually the mentor chose who they were gonna go, gonna give uh, who was gonna go to the circus, and then they also talked to them about it. <laughs> and each of the mentors made a different kind of decision on whether or not they thought someone needed to prove themselves, or whether or not so actually usually or someone needed needed to be able to needed a win. You know what I mean? Not not that it was a gimme that it was gonna be a win, but the there was a fierceness in them. There was something in losing the first challenge that they needed to overcome by winning in another challenge. So, and all of the decisions were made differently and I really appreciated that. And something that they said early in the show, I was really blown away by, which is that nobody is gonna get voted out of this competition. The only way that you lose this competition is if you give up. And, you know, actually now from seeing the format, you know, it's, it, that is true. The person who left was a person who, who, gave out on the final challenge first, but I think there are physical <laughs> limitations, but it's a, the show is about that. Can you push beyond your what you think is possible, what you think your capabilities are? How much grit do you have? Can you get through that? Can you push through that? How long can you, you know, maintain, maintain sustain? Oh, are you gonna be able to persevere through the, these challenges? I don't know. Anyway, I found it very exciting. I, I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, it, I love the fact that the mentors are with the competitors during the challenges, not only during the group challenge. The group challenge was they had to carry this big lo a log, like a tree basically, and everyone had to touch it and they had to carry it from A to B um, and, um, and then through obstacles as well. And then the second one was holding on to a rope with a weight on it. So but for both of them, their mentors were with them for the group challenge and individually encouraging them, telling them whether it was telling them that they could do it or telling them to not listen to other people or whatever it may be. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I find in, in competition shows when there's like some kind of group dynamic and there's a leader, one, if it's internal, people always seem to turn on the leader. And then if it's external, they're just not they're They're not present for the actual competition. So I'm like, this is really amazing. This is someone sitting there encouraging you, telling you what to do, you know, helping you out, saying that they believe in you. All of that was incredibly, incredibly 
incredibly inspiring. Um, and all of the contestants and the mentors are very inspiring. Like they just really, okay, there are some drama. There is some drama because it's a show and there's human di personal dynamics. So there definitely was some drama. But, you know, um, in general, I think people are really, really, you know, there to be able to, you know, overcome something in themselves or be able to prove to themselves as opposed to for the money, you know, or other reasons. So that was really inspiring. So I really appreciated that. Um, that's what else do I really like about it. Oh, it's gorgeous, too. It's like outside nature. I'm not a nature person. I'm a city person. So I like to appreciate it from this perspective. <laughs> and there's not also I love that there wasn't a huge focus on on the prize. Like, you know, it's about the challenge. Can you can you take on this challenge. That's really cool. Um, for me in the, you know, not so much a fan of it. From the title, you pretty much know this. It's very American. So <laughs> I'm Canadian. <laughs> and so like for me, we get bombarded with a lot of Americanness generally. Um, the show I actually didn't find too bad for that. Although it is, but it does have a very different perspective on a lot of things, including some of the military type stuff, which you know, it's one of those things that sometimes you don't notice the difference, um, you know, until certain things come up. And so that was, that was interesting. That was more interesting than, than like it didn't, it just, I was very, I was aware of it, but not as aware as I thought I would be given the title being American Grit. I thought it would be way more like, in your face kind of American and I didn't find it to be as such. It also makes me realize I don't, even though I watch a lot of American television, it's not, it doesn't feel as Americana. So, or maybe I'm just acclimatized to it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed it. I really, I found it very inspiring. I found it very engaging. One of the things I like about these kinds of shows is uh, because they're inspiring, and also to see sort of um, leadership in action, teamwork in action. The mentors are all fascinating. Um, they're how they handle people when things are going well, when things are not going well. Very interesting. The dynamics are really engaging. And it's just, it's nice to see, uh, I, I don't know, everyone's got really strong opinions. And often when there's like lots of people with really strong opinions, it can just sort of explode and maybe it will. But so far it's, it's, I think it's working really, really well. And, um, yeah, there's a lot there. There's a lot there. I'm definitely going to keep watching. I would recommend it if you like, if you like reality competition series that are based on physical challenges, you know, and if you'd like to watch stuff that's inspiring from a physical perspective, like for me that the whole, like, being able to do more than you think you can do, that's always going to work for me. Always going to work for me. Um, the show airs Thursday nights at 9 o'clock EST on Fox. It does not air on the Canadian channel. So I'm actually really thrilled that my antenna picks up Fox <laughs> because that is how I ended up noticing that it was going to be on. I just saw a commercial. I hadn't heard about it at all. I think I saw a commercial during Second Chance. And I was like, what is that? So I checked it out and I'm glad that I did. I'm definitely going to keep watching. Be curious to think, see how things play out. Um, and, you know, as the teams go from four to three, what happens? Do, will all teams shrink? Will that team of four, Tom, dominate, or, or no, there's three teams more. Anyway, I don't know. It's new, so the dynamics are not set, and I find that very exciting. So there you go. I'll leave information below for the link to the Fox website, um, although, unfortunately, you can't watch it online in Canada unless, I don't know if it's available on Google Play or iTunes, uh, but I'm going to plan on watching it live. So there you go. Thanks for watching.